What's up dudes? So I just got down here to the marina and I'm gonna run a charter today. I've got some clients coming in from Tennessee. And guy was telling me, uh, my client today, how much he loves Spanish mackerel sashimi. So it got me thinking, hey, why don't I bring the camera along with me today? Let's film a little episode. Maybe try to catch a Spanish mackerel and eat some sashimi because I've heard they make phenomenal sashimi. So that's what I want to find out today. They're going to be here in about half an hour and we're going to take it out and go fishing. You already got one. <laughs> the beach getting some Spanish mackerel some nice ones some nice ones about to have another one on back here so it's kind of rough out here today man it's bumpy but we're uh fish are biting pretty decent right now big Spanish another one hooked up back here right here look at that one that's a good one there's one following him too look at that big one following him I can barely stand up out here. It's so freaking bumpy, man. You can't really tell from the video, but it is nasty. We're using these little uh, two inch, three inch long Menhaden that we caught this morning, pogies. We're also using that uh, tsunami glass minnow, buccaneer glass minnow jig that I like. So. Hopefully we'll get a big king here in a minute. A lot of guide baits out here today. I'll be surprised if somebody doesn't get seasick, honestly, man. <laughs> Check out the lure we're using right here, yeah, dudes. He's some bait it's all messed up, but if you want to pick up some of those baits, you can get them in the link in my description here uh, on this video. He's coming to me. We just hooked something gigantic on our live cigar meadow. I think that whatever it is is going to be too big, uh, too big to catch, but we'll see. It's huge. We lost him. I think it was a Goliath grouper. He ate our cigar meta. A little bit too uh, big for us to handle on king mackerel tackle. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna get back to catching catching other stuff that it's a little little easier. All right, now we're back to catching the proper fish. Another nice Spanish right there. Damn, you Getting a nice little box of Spanish so far, man. Not too bad. Not too bad. Got Tyler over there doing some work. Is that another remora? Oh, look! 
Guys, if y'all are looking for Aboras, this guy's got it right here. Fish on, fish on, right here. Finally one hit the live bait. I'm gonna be honest with you, the, the Buccaneer glass minnow was out fishing the live bait today. There we go. We're not catching remoras like Captain Tyler. That's what we got there. Nice Spanish mackerel. Oh, shit. Yeah, right here. All right, dudes, we got a pile of Spanish in there. We're going to put out these cigar minnows that we caught earlier, see if we can't catch a big king or something like that, maybe a cobia. See how we're rigging here, guys? We're just putting them on a little stinger rig just like this, and uh, we're just kind of bump trolling around this sunken ship out here. This place got covered up with boats quick. Yeah, it did. So all the guide boats are, are staying close today because it's rough, so everybody went to the same spot. Yeah, just toss them in the ocean, man. Kings didn't do it today. We're going to start easing in a little closer to the beach. Take your duck on. Okay, yeah, man, cool. Got a lot. We just made it back into the bayou. Uh, got an ice chest full of Spanish back there. We're going to take them in and clean them up and then I'm going to take one back and do some sashimi. I've always heard how good Spanish sashimi is so uh, we're going to find out here in a little while. So this is why Spanish mackerel are my favorite fish to clean. Check it out right here. Because it's so easy. That was fun. Man, those guys were awesome to fish with this morning. It was really, really rough, so we were limited to where we could go. We could really only uh, fish in one or two locations. So, um, but hey, we did what we can, caught a nice little box of Spanish, and now I'm gonna take it up to the office, and hopefully we're gonna chow down on some of this fish sashimi. So dudes, I just got back into the office right here. We've got our Spanish mackerel cut into little pieces right here. And it's been, we flash froze it. That kind of kills the parasites. Wanted to make sure and take care of that. I've got my buddy Greg Ammon right What's here. Happening? Greg Ammon Outdoors. Uh, if you hadn't seen his channel, check it out. Uh, I've linked it below. But guys, we're gonna, we're gonna test, uh, taste this Spanish mackerel right here and just kind of uh, kind of get a feel for what it tastes like. So we've got some soy sauce, a little soy sauce. You want some soy sauce with your sashimi. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, pour prefer it. to have some wasabi sauce too, or uh, some wasabi, but we don't have any wasabi here. So, all right, this is my sure. first go at Spanish mackerel sashimi. I've heard it's pretty good, so I've never had it either. Uh, let's give it a shot here. <clears throat> kind of nervous. It's good stuff. This is what I like in a sashimi. I like an oily fish, like a mackerel, or like a tuna. Um, it's got a, it makes it a buttery texture, which is what you want. That's an awesome sashimi fish right there. Uh, I also love yellowfin tuna uh, sashimi, but that, man, a Spanish mackerel is really, really good. My client from today told me, he's like, you need to do Spanish mackerel sashimi. They loved it, so this is what I decided. Where was it? Where were they from? Uh, they're actually from uh, Memphis, but they had it last time they were down. Said they really liked it, so I wanted to do it, and, and I'm, I'm 
pleasantly surprised with it. I actually thought that that was as good of, as blackfin tuna sashimi or something like that. I, mean, I, think, it was good. I think if you just actually topped it on rice with just a little bit of wasabi in between. Yeah. And then, you know, put the soy over the top of it, it would probably taste really good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. Just like, just like anything else, you put like salmon or tuna or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm... Uh, I mean, I get thought crazy, it, right? Oh, it was good. <laughs> uh, it's 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 got a real buttery texture, and any fish that's oily that has a buttery texture is awesome with sashimi. So, guys, that'll do it. Uh, thank y'all for watching the video. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me where they can get my decals, my Angler Up decals. They're linked in the description below, uh, right below. Go check it out. Also, along with my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, y'all go check me out on all three. Um, don't forget to like and just <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> you guys have a great week.